I'm here at Abrams Creek Campground at the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, and I'm here for a five-day trip, 100 miles. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Out on the rabbit trail first thing this morning connecting up to Hannah Mountain Trail right off the bat I've got a creek crossing last time I was here I couldn't cross this creek this is Abrams Creek shouldn't be a problem this time Not only am I working on completing uh, all 900 miles of trails here in the Smokies, but I've also got a couple new pieces of equipment and uh, changed up my food a little bit. So more about that later. I'm coming up to Scott Gap right now. I'll take a short break, review the map, see what I have coming up. So I've got four trails at this intersection and a trail to a campsite 16. I've got a lot of great trails planned for this trip. Right now, of course, I'm on the Hannah Mountain Trail, but I've also got uh, the Lakeshore Trail Gregory Bald coming up later today. Um, I'm going to finish up the Lakeshore Trail and the BMT. And then it's uh, Klingman's Dome, Andrews Bald, and then of course on to the AT. And uh, yeah, a lot of great trails on this trip. But right now I'm at campsite 14, Flint Gap. Going to take a short little break. I'll say uh, campsite 14, <laughs> not very impressive. Really just a small area. You're either by the bear cables or by the fire pit. Not sure where the water is. It was a, a persistent climb to get on top of a Hannah Mountain. But now that I'm up here, it's absolutely wonderful. Just a, a nice, fairly level trail. The grand views are blocked a little bit by the trees, but you can get a sense. It's pretty nice. I just finished uh, my breakfast, which is two packages of Carnation High Protein Instant Breakfast. And I supplement that with uh, half cup of neato powder which is whole milk dried whole milk powder so when it's made up it's around 700 calories or so and it's a nice uh basically protein shake breakfast i'm getting close to forge creek road it was closed earlier this season i've heard that it is closed. Um, however, uh, there was no information posted at the ranger station at Abrams Creek Campground, uh, nor at the trailhead, nor on any sign <laughs> that I've passed. So hopefully there's a little information when I actually get there. Today, I just need to cross the road, so that shouldn't be a problem. But on day five, I think, um, I would like to go down the road and actually down into Cade's Cove, take another trail back to the car. If not, I can just double back on this Hannah Mountain Trail. Um, not what I hope to do, but it would work. So 
hopefully I can get some uh, more information when I get to the road. It's another hot day here in the Smokies. I'm gonna take a quick break here at Forge Creek Road and uh, definitely apply a little more bug spray and then get back out on the trail. It's another uh, four and a half miles up to Gregory Bald. It's been a beautiful trail so far. This little section here has been lined with orange fringed orchids. And they're usually pollinated uh, by the swallowtail butterflies. And wouldn't you know it, here's one on the trail. Just filled up my water at the uh, spring just below Sheep Pen Gap. Made it to uh, Sheep Pen Gap campsite. This is a great camp area. I stayed here at Sheep Pen Gap earlier this spring. Uh, the waters were high, and I actually wanted to do the Hannah Mountain Trail and uh, the Rabbit Creek Trail. So this is kind of a revisit from that failed attempt. I couldn't even cross Abrams Creek. The water was so high. So it was much easier this time. And that completes uh, the Gregory Bald Trail for me. I've uh, done this before, like I said. And it's roughly, I don't know, a mile and a half to the Long Hungry Trail. And I'll pass uh, Gregory Bald. All right, coming into Gregory Bald right now. Absolutely beautiful, one of the best spots in the Smokies. I do have some storm clouds moving in, so I don't want to linger too long up here. Trying to stay ahead of it. I'd like to get below tree line before it starts any kind of storming. But beautiful views up here. Really, really can't be beat. And Sheep's Pen Gap is, in my opinion, one of the better sites that I've stayed in in the Smokies. Coming up to a Rich Gap right now. And uh, it's starting to rain a little bit, but most of it's still in the canopy. But glad to be off of the bald as this uh, little rainstorm moves through. There it is, Long Hungry Ridge Trail, point one. Now it's on to the Long Hungry Ridge Trail. It's been all downhill since uh, Sheep Pen Gap and uh, Gregory Bald. But I don't think I'm too far away from camp. Less than a mile, I'd say. This trail has been uh, pretty nice. Actually, I think I hear somebody. Maybe I'm closer to camp than I think. Yeah, this trail's been really nice, though. One last stream to cross before camp. Camp is all set up. Just need to get some things uh, organized a little better. Then uh, start looking forward to uh, dinner. And I'm gonna go get some water here in a minute. In the Smokies, I keep my food and my camp area, my sleep area, 
completely separate. So all my food is over there, nothing over here. And then everything over there will get hung on the bear cables, of course. I also make sure I'm free of any perfumes, uh, deodorants, shampoos, conditioners, leave-in rinses, anything like that. Um, got to camp early today, so I've got a little extra time. I thought I'd show you what I brought for food on this trip. I've changed it up just a little bit, partially because of summer and something different. So let me show you what I've got. So I've got some regular stuff, some new stuff, and uh, new sort of recreated recreations of stuff. My regular breakfast, uh, this trip is uh, all breakfasts are the same. It's two packages of uh, the Carnation High Protein Instant Breakfast and half cup of Neato powder. It's a whole milk powder. And that's something around 700 calories. Again, that's pretty standard. I, I use that a lot. I enjoy it. Sometimes I mix it up with strawberry. Sometimes I add coffee to this one. Um, yeah, they're great and easy. This is a new, new thing. It's basically just a trail mix that I made dry fruit. Uh, each one of these bags, this is a full bag here. This is a thousand calories. So this is my lunch now every day, thousand calories. It's basically dried mango, dried pineapple, pepitas, hemp seed, hemp germ seed, <laughs> something like that. Uh, anyway, a thousand calories though, pretty good. Then on to dinner. Got homemade pasta with garden tomatoes, I'm pretty sure. Ground beef and some cheese in there too. So that's the heaviest, so I'm eating that first. And then uh, solid winners for me. I love these things. Um, they're a little pricey. I think these are 15 bucks a piece, 13, I don't know. Uh, but the beef stroganoff, one of my favorites. Both of these are my favorites. So can't go wrong with those. And then on to, this is in no particular order, Rice and beans, homemade. These are gonna be spicy, jalapenos from the garden. I got some Fritos for that. And then bag of candy. It's uh, some M&Ms, sort of a trail mix. Just some crackers for some salt. And that's for during the day. Um, and a couple packs of peanut butter. Five days, this was, I think just slightly over eight pounds. And this pasta right here weighs almost a pound. I took some out, so not quite as much anymore. That's my dinner for five days. Plus, all these wonderful chanterelles that will be going in with my pasta tonight. Beautiful. And I like to keep everything in a uh, gallon Ziploc bag. These are freezer bags. That way it just keeps it easy, and then each night I pull out exactly what I need for breakfast and lunch the next day and have that ready to go in a separate bag that I can put in my um, bottom pocket of my pack. And that's just what I'm going to need, again, on the trail for the first few hours. And these homemade meals, the pasta, and these are both just freezer bags and boiling water, about 10 or 12 minutes. They're absolutely wonderful. Some of my favorite. I'll have this one tonight, like I said, so. The chanterelles were a great addition to my dinner. One of my favorite things about the Smokies is the group camping. You'll often meet some wonderful people. And this trip was no exception. I met three longtime friends from South Carolina and had a great conversation. And ladies, if you're watching, I hope you had a great rest of your trip. And now there's nothing much for me to do other than hang my bag and get ready for tomorrow. I've got another big day, 20 plus miles. So join me as I continue this 100 mile adventure in the Great Smoky Mountains.